Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram here, Collie Center. Grab your double sticks. We got a quick double stick drill to work on today. Let's get to it. Hit the thumbs up button and click that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Also make sure to click that bell so you're notified whenever we got some new drills coming out for you to work on. All right, let's kick off to the training. All right, so today we're looking at doble baston, doble olisi, or two sticks. These could be obviously two swords, uh, two bolos, that's totally cool, um, but right now I'm just using two sticks. So this is a pretty basic drill. In Kali, it's pretty familiar across Filipino martial arts. We're gonna take a look at the Heaven Six, but let's just kind of clean up some timing and then add a little bit a different variation to it. So from here, instead of striking all the way through in this manner, it, we're gonna strike and then we're gonna retract it. Okay, so we're gonna kind of hit this upper strike just like this. Instead of following through, which takes a lot more recovery time, we're gonna shorten the time and speed it up by hitting and retracting just like that. So from here, let's take a look at the pattern though. We got that forehand strike, we got a left hand backhand strike, and then the right hand backhand strike, and then that puts us into the left chamber position. And then we just repeat everything on the other side, right? We hit that forehand of the left hand, bring it back, we hit the backhand of the right hand, and then a backhand of the left hand. So we've got that one, two, three, four, five, and six strikes. The thing I wanna make sure we're focusing on, particularly in this lesson, is the timing between the strikes. When we strike fluid like this, you're gonna notice that there's this big opening where there's no strike covering the closed position of the right arm. And this is where you get picked up, you know, in this kind of crossed position because the timing is off. And striking in this manner doesn't allow you to get this bottom hand up in time fast enough and high enough to give you protection. So that's why here at Kali Center, we strike this with this kind of more like V type of strike instead of this kind of fluid strike. When we strike this V strike, it allows a clearance and the timing to get that other hand out. So that way you're not caught in this kind of crossed, closed position. As you're striking this out, now we can immediately fire out that next strike. As this one's coming back, we immediately strike out that next one. Now as I'm going into the left chamber position with my right hand, my left hand's already firing out. And as I'm V striking that left hand, my back hand, and then we can continue this chain of just continuous striking, leaving no gaps, no opening in the center line. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. This also allows our strike to come in high enough so that we have the leverage of the weapon to protect our face, okay? That's very important here. If we strike this way, you're gonna notice it's really hard to get it up there. It's, it's a little low right here. And we gotta really turn our body, which puts our whole body, our footwork, everything in an awkward position. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So hit it, bounce it like a V, hit that backhand, and then hit that last strike as that one's returning. As you're returning that third strike, the fourth strike, left hand comes out. As it's returning, right hand and then left hand right there. So that's the timing of it. We can also take this drill and we can work the second and the fourth strike as an upward strike. It's a little bit of a variation. We can go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can go downward, heaven six, which is very uh, common. Or we can go upward on the second and fourth strike. Second, I'm sorry, second and fifth strike. And work it out this way as well. Just start nice and slow with this drill. I don't wanna go too crazy and you know have you guys thinking you gotta go all super fast with it. Just go nice and slow with the drill. Work it out, work that timing between your strikes and start to play around. Notice the difference between if you swing this strike all the way through or if you hit more of that V strike and uh, that's gonna give you a little bit more protection. Faster recovery, faster delivery of the strikes and with good training, you can still deliver a very good amount of power, especially if these are blades. 
All right, there you go. Quick, detailed lesson on the Heaven 6. You could even bring this up into uh, what some people call the standard six or upper eight strikes. If you want to see any other type of common uh, Kali Eskrima drill kind of broken down the Kali Center way, let me know in the comments below and uh, I'd be more than happy to make that video for you. As always, make sure you're training every single day. If you can, get outside. I'm a big advocate of training outdoors in the fresh air, in the sun, in the clouds, in the rain, whatever it is, different types of terrain underneath your feet. And uh, it just kind of helps bring a little bit different of a connection to your training and to your collie. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new to the channel. Smash that thumbs up button if you like this video that helps me out and lets me know that you want to see more of these types of videos and if you want to advance your training with us and really get down into the deep details head over to colliecenter.com where you can check out all of our further training programs and courses DVD downloads and all that stuff maybe in the future I'll even get to train with you in person at any of our upcoming events I would look forward to uh, meeting you guys and training with you guys and working out with you in person until next time, keep training, have fun, and I'll see you soon.